While it is every woman's dream to have a complication-free pregnancy, that is not always the case. There are many different things that can happen during pregnancy that can lead to complications, from minor aches and pains to major medical complications. My twin pregnancy wasn't without some big complications for me, from getting pregnant to keeping my babies healthy while pregnant. I developed intrauterine growth restriction and was put on strict bed rest at 23 weeks pregnant. Fortunately, my C-section went smooth and my twins did not have any complications from my moderate intrauterine growth restriction. Here are six of the most common pregnancy complications that women experience. But before going to next please subscribe our channel and also press the bell icon for getting latest updates. Sciatica and lower back pain. Pain in the lower back and sciatic nerve is very common in pregnancies. It is more of an annoyance rather than a complication. Sciatica and lower back pain can last for many months and cause intense amounts of pain. Pregnant women experience sciatic and lower back pain during pregnancy due to the increase in the hormone relaxin. Relaxin is a hormone that your body produces in preparation for delivery to help loosen up the muscles and tendons. While women experience sciatica and lower back pain to varying degrees, it tends to worsen as the pregnancy progresses. This is due to the size of the baby increasing and more relaxin being released as the delivery date nears. There are a few things that you can do to help relieve sciatica and lower back pain. Try to reduce whatever stress you are able to and maintain a good diet and exercise routine. Vaginal pain. Vaginal pain is also a very common complication that women experience during pregnancy. There are a lot of things that happen during pregnancy that people often don't talk about. Vaginal pain, or lightning crotch, is one of them. Well you might have that one friend that likes to share all of the gory details of her entire pregnancy and labor, most often, the embarrassing bits get left out. But thankfully, that is what we are here for. To share all of the gross, embarrassing, or unexpected moments during your pregnancy and motherhood that you might not think to ask about. Women experience pain in the vaginal area for many reasons. When the baby moves into position for birth. Hormonal levels changing during pregnancy. Nerve pain and the baby moving around. Low levels of magnesium. While, depending on how far along the mother is, these vaginal pains could be mistaken for labor pains. However, vaginal pain does not always indicate signs of labor. If you are experiencing intense pain, bleeding, or any type of abnormal discharge, you should contact your doctor as this could be a sign of something more serious. Miscarriage Unfortunately, miscarriage happens, most often it has nothing to do with what the mother did or did not do. Miscarriage is not something that pregnant women want to think about, but need to be aware of. If you start to experience abnormal bleeding, more than spotting, you should see your doctor as this might indicate the onset of a miscarriage. There is nothing you can do to stop a miscarriage once it has started. Either the fetus will pass on its own or you will need to have a DNC procedure done, also known as a dilation and curettage. This is where the cervix is dilated and a spoon-shaped instrument, the curettage, is used to scrape out the lining of the uterus to remove the fetus and any remaining tissue. There are many different risk factors that can contribute to the onset of a miscarriage. This can include the mother's age, medical background, and other high-risk factors. How much morning sickness you experience can also indicate if you have a higher chance of experiencing a miscarriage. The more morning sickness you experience, the more HCG, human chorionic gonadotropin, your body produces, the less likely you are to experience a miscarriage. Gestational diabetes. Gestational diabetes is not uncommon. On average 10% of expectant mothers experience this pregnancy complication. Gestational diabetes is indicated by high levels of sugar in the blood and can manifest itself as fatigue, hunger, and extreme thirst. Generally, expectant mothers can easily control and even avoid this complication with a healthy diet and exercise. Some women might need to regularly monitor their sugar levels while pregnant if they are at risk for developing gestational diabetes. In more severe cases of gestational diabetes, the mother may be required to take insulin. If a mother developed gestational diabetes during pregnancy, she might need to continue to have her blood sugar levels tested after the baby is born to ensure she does not develop type 2 diabetes. 
Gestational diabetes can also lead to other pregnancy complications, such as a larger baby, having a C-section, high blood pressure or preeclampsia, or low blood sugar. Premature labor and birth, did you know that about 25% of babies are born on their due dates? That means as many as 15 million babies are born preterm, or before 37 weeks of gestation and the remainder are born after the due dates. Technically, preterm labor happens when the expectant mother starts to experience contractions between 20 and 37 weeks of gestation and the cervix begins to open up. Oftentimes, preterm labor can result in a preterm birth, otherwise known as a preemie baby. The earlier in the gestational period that the preterm labor happens, the greater the chances of the baby having health issues and needing to spend time in the neonatal intensive care unit. Anemia, anemia means that you have a lower than normal number of red blood cells in your body. If you have anemia, you may feel more tired and weak than usual, and you may have pale skin. Anemia has many causes and your doctor will need to treat the underlying cause of the anemia. Taking supplements of iron and folic acid during your pregnancy may help since most cases of anemia occur due to a deficiency. How can you prevent complications? Not all complications are preventable. The following steps may help promote a healthy pregnancy and prevent you from having a high-risk pregnancy. If you're thinking of becoming pregnant, consult with a doctor beforehand to help you prepare. For example, if you already have a pre-existing medical condition, your doctor may recommend adjusting your treatment to prepare for your pregnancy. Eat a healthy diet with lots of fruits, vegetables, lean protein, and fiber. Take prenatal vitamins daily. Quit smoking if you smoke. Avoid alcohol and illegal drugs. Ask your doctor if the medications you're already taking are okay to continue taking or if you should stop taking them. Reduce your stress levels. Listening to music and doing yoga are two ways to reduce your stress levels. Thanks for watching our video. If you like this video then don't forget to subscribe our channel and also press the bell icon for getting latest updates. Because we started the new series for pregnant women. Where you will get solution of every problem regarding pregnancy.